Okay guys, we're back and what we want to talk about right now is the reaction shaft, the gears on it, the input shaft, the main shaft, the sun gear, the sun shell, hardened sun shell, that's a brand new one, always use a brand new sun shell and five gear planet or four gear planet on this one and you have a washer here brass washer here I've got some assembly lube on that, both sides, pressed into the sun shell, put the brass washer there, I might have had the camera off angle, anyway, that brass washer, put the tabs down, stick it inside your sun gear, always use a new sun gear, or sun shell, with a hardened sun shell is what you want and your five gear or four gear planet that's your front planet and the rear planet's already in there and then your sun gear which is the small little one and then your reactor shaft and your main shaft I know I said it twice but Here's what I want you to know about it. Okay. The shaft. All these parts you got to inspect. It's advisable. That you use a new. Sun shell. It's a hardened sun shell. Off of eBay. I think it was like. 45 bucks. Alright. Now on your planets. Same deal. You want to check for side to side wiggle play. On each one of these, no wiggle play, good. You want to look inside here, make sure none of the uh, teeth or gears are busted anywhere. And you want to make sure these gears in here, all these stand up, there's nothing busted there. And basically, you want to put some transmission fluid all over this, spin it around, get it lubed up, pre-lubed. And your gears here, get that wet, get you some assembly goo, stick it in there. Make, that's after you inspected everything that everything's good all right do that then your sun gear this is the helical side because it goes in at an angle helical side going in at an angle and the straight side straight up and down check that bushing in there that bushing scored or worn out you need to replace it uh, the, I'm not replacing these they're not hard to replace you just knock them out with a screwdriver get a bushing adapter or some sort of socket or whatever tap the new one in till it seats that's all you do to replace the bushing the reactor you want to feel this shaft all the way around if you feel any high spots or low spots or rough spots make sure this thing's clean and you're not feeling any dirt Okay, and check all your splines, make sure they're still there, nothing ate up. Then you want to look in here, you got a bushing on this side. Then you want to look in here, you got a bushing on this side. Make sure there's no deep scores in these bushings. No deep scores, and all the bushings are smooth, and you want to check them for play. The inside one here, it's going to ride against your planet. So you're going to stick this planet right inside there. Like that, turn it, you don't hear no mad clunking or nothing like that. This is a metal heavy object, so you're going to hear a little noise, but you don't want to hear nothing grinding or such like that. I'm pushing against this. That's just the parts working. When this thing gets filled with fluid, you'll be alright, I would say. I did notice some marks through here 
on the gears other videos I've seen they didn't say anything about replacing this if you guys know anything about these gears if they're worn out on the outside should we replace them please comment below in the comment section let everybody else know what you should do in a case like that when the when you do feel that I can feel a kind of ridgy kind of raised and lowered a lot of that is uh, carbon I guess carbon buildup this thing, if you remember, it had some very low transmission fluid uh, when I bought it. And what you want to do is on your shaft, right here's the front, the smaller end compared to the larger end. You want to slide this reactor, slide it down to your bottom out. Then you want to try to wiggle it side to side. You don't want nothing very sloppy. You're going to get a little, very little, very little. Pushing down and try to wiggle it, you get very little. That's good. Up and down, spin it, spin it, spin it. This feels all right. So I think I'll ride. All right, and then this other one, we already covered that. The five planets go in there. And you want to take this one here. And you want to stick the small gear side down. You want to slide it all the way down to no, not on this shaft. You want to slide it on your reactor right here. You want to take your reactor and your sun gear, put them together, straight straight gears going downwards. Get it down on there. Spin it. Check it side to side in play. Push. I'm pushing down pushing all the way down firmly and going side to side see what I can feel not much play at all feels pretty good anyway you want to spin this hold this sun gear spin it seems pretty good all right so let's go ahead and take some of this assembly goo it up really good we're not we're not afraid to use a little bit that's what we bought it for do it up pretty good with the assembly this is one of the main things is this reactor and you really want to have this good to go when you start up so I think that'll be alright yeah alright that one's good up pretty good and you do the same thing with the five uh, four gear so I'm gonna keep saying five because I wanted to go with the five gear but I didn't and anyway four gear front front planet I want to get this outer race or this shaft greased up check everything in here you got a little gear uh, bearing in here you want to spray that with some uh, uh, transmission fluid in the ketchup bottle that always works uh, you get these little ketchup bottles any kind of restaurant or dollar generals or whatever about a buck I don't know however you get it whatever somebody may give you one if you ask them at a restaurant but uh yeah so what you want to do from there is after everything checks out good good to go you want to take the helix side of this gear the sun gear and you want to place it in your case once this goes down in the case you're gonna set this in on top like that so it'll ride the straight side okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now but we're gonna do that come back in the next video to show you how it's installed once again I'm doing this so you don't make mistakes and if you do you know exactly about how long it takes a rookie to do it because I am a rookie and uh, I'm going slowly uh, step by step trying to get this right best I can and go ahead and grease up that bearing in there they recommend that you replace this uh, sun gear bushing uh, I mean that's that's what uh, that's what some guys do they replace that with everyone this one felt good and it's like to me it's like it's been rebuilt I don't know 
but I'm going to go ahead and stick this sun gear in the, in the uh, case in, in the case and the uh, helical sides going in first let me spin the camera I think you got it right there, eh? I can slide that case a little bit. I think you can see that. Yeah. So anyway, we're taking the helical side of the sun gear and we're gonna go ahead and drop it in the case and it's gonna go helical side down in there first. Give it a little twist till it sets in there. All right, dropped right in. Everything should spin. Once you get that on there, everything should spin. All right, that's spinning. We're going to take our sun shell, which we have right here. We're going to drop the sun shell right on top of the straight gears in there, and just hold it to the inside a little ways. Everything's spinning and that's pretty much all you want to do there and once again comment like and subscribe follow whatever you got to do uh, appreciate you guys checking this out if you are checking it out this is exactly what an what it's like to be a noob in doing it thanks for watching